All right, guys, we're going to get right into it, guys. Uh, cancel culture is dead, guys. Cancel culture is dead. Um, all that stuff was a myth. It was real at one point, and then with the advent of new platforms and other ways you can stream and gain some ad revenue income, from Rumble to X and all these platforms that canceled creators jumped on. Cancel culture became a myth, guys. Um, and YouTube now and some of these other platforms that were, you know, Twitch in these places that were very hardline when it comes to, you know, certain content they allowed on their platforms. And you can even really talk about the, uh, the virus without, you know, getting a strike or <clears throat> All that stuff is coming to an end, and it, it really shows that, especially with, you know, uh, that Sneeko getting his channel back yesterday, apparently, right? He's one of those creators that were, you know, controversial, and YouTube banned him. I think I even remember, man, I, I, I like, reacted to a clip of of Sneeko and they literally took my took it down like uh, uh, r literally when I uploaded it so it was it was pretty bad man that's uh, but now uh, other people are getting kind of frustrated because you know they're they're choosing to unban certain creators and then certain other creators are still banned we're gonna get into the reasons why let's go ahead and get look at this uh reaction from uh XQC and Aiden Ross you know talking about the Twitch screen. okay and the shit that Sneeko says is is not tolerated on Twitch, legitimately, okay? The fact that he's unbanned, which means that he would be doing um, fantastic behavior-wise, and he's being exemplatory behavior, the fact that he gets unbanned while going on some insane shit that he says on his stream, brother, come on, come on, bro, I mean, Twitch is, like, bro, how can you say you, that, you, that you ban? Who gives a fuck what he got banned for? He's getting... He got unbanned while still going on, like, some, some random tirade that would get anybody else banned for their off-platform behavior. What? Huh? I mean, dude... I, I have been said this, bro. Y'all y'all are like literally not y'all are fucking taking what XQC is fucking saying. XQC is not fucking hating on him being unbanned. He's basically saying like the platform. You guys are missing what he's saying. You fucking retards. Listen to what he just said. He's right. Technically, I should be unbanned on Twitch if Sneak was unbanned on Twitch. He's right. He's right. He's not wrong. He is not hating. The other clip, I get what y'all are saying. He's not hating on him this time. He's saying the platform doesn't make sense. It's not consistent. He's right. Twitch chooses what they want to, who they want to unban and stuff. It's not consistent. I should be unbanned. I should be unbanned on Twitch. Not based off my off stream shit I've been saying and doing. I should be unbanned if, if Sneeko is unbanned, if all the fresh and fits unbanned on Twitch. I should be unbanned as well. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't agree with what he's saying, guys, because, they're look, this is the reality. These platforms, there's so many different platforms out right now from Kick to Rumble to Twitch to all these. There's there's just like even platforms we haven't even heard about, and they're all competing for, like, the same creators to hop onto their uh, platform, right? The same creators that are in, like, you know, the top 1% creator, like, with a huge following, and so... Twitch is not stupid, man. Like, they, they're going to see that, you know, Sneeko, for example, is banned on YouTube. And he's doing really well on Rumble. Right? And they just see dollar signs. They're like, oh, okay. He's doing really well on Rumble. Hey, he could probably earn more money with us. Right? And with Kick, if we kind of, you know, he's kind of toned his rhetoric down. He's not really... He's doing more like IRL religious stuff. Let's just, you know, let's 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 play, you know, let's play chess, not checkers, man. Let's get him on Twitch. Let's unban him on Twitch. So that way, you know, uh, we could steal that client from from Rumble, isolate Rumble, 
you know, get him on Twitch. And we know that he's not going to be on YouTube because YouTube is pretty much finito. And YouTube's going to see that and be like, oh, he's on Twitch and kick now. Um, no. You know, now now they see they see that as a threat. Now YouTube's going to unban his his channel. And be like, oh, well, you know, uh, we, we look, look, looked at your strikes and stuff like that. And then, you know, uh, we noticed you tone, toned it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and just, you know, we, we don't even care about all this stuff you said, all the uh, comments you made about, you know, the JQ and, and the uh, the Rona and all that. Let's just let's just put your channel back up, man. Just come stream with YouTube because we're, we're going to pay you more. You know, forget about Twitch and, and, and Kick and all these other places. So that's how the game works, man. Like, they're not. And then Aiden Ross being a heavy hitter. Kick is Kick is not going to allow him to leave their platform. Kick is Kick is not going to allow them to leave his leave their platform. They're going to do anything or as much as possible not to allow Twitch and all these places to unban him so they can they can steal viewership from from his platform on Kick or whatever he streams at, right? So, it's it's all business at the end of the day. And then you notice that Fresh and Fit got unbanned on Twitch as well, right? So now they have another source of income there. And then you have like the the big factor in all this is that all these creators are now on X. They're they're earning ad revenue on X, and they don't have to do all these long form content and stuff on X. All you got to do is literally tweet your opinion about something, and you're getting paid, right? Mm-hmm. You can even stream on X now. You could do your lives on X. You could do spaces on X, right? And they also have their independent platforms or their Patreons and stuff like that. So these companies don't care that, you know, I mean, they're not over here looking at Aiden Ross and XQC and being like, oh, you know, we got to unban him now. You know, um, they're not looking at it like that, whether he violated their terms and conditions or any of that crap. They're they're looking at it like, you know, um, they're looking at, you know, what Kick's going to do if they do unban Aiden Ross and he jumps back on on Twitch. You know, um, are they going to recruit somebody from, you know, a, a big Twitch streamer? Is Kai Sinat on their radar? You know, so it's all it's all business in the end of the day. So, I mean, these these folks don't, you know, money trumps everything. That's why I say this cancel culture crap is, is all BS. It's all it's all BS, man. It's a myth, you know, because, yeah, OK, the guy might get canceled. People bank on the fact like okay yeah that you know the creator might die down we canceled him you know we're, we're gonna just wait it out and see if he just dies down then we could just get rid of him we don't like his rhetoric anyways but then the creator gets even bigger like when they canceled sneeko he got he got way bigger than uh you know what he was on youtube beforehand and he's 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 at his you know peak right now honestly he's 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 killing it on on rumble so they're gonna see that and be like oh man it didn't work Oh man, he's still on X with with a hundred thousand followers. You know this guy's not going anywhere. Okay, we'll just, you know, we'll just we'll just make amends, you know, and and have him come back on the platform and stuff. So in my opinion, you know, Sneeko should just ride it out with Kick or Rumble or any of these other platforms. You know, uh, he should have wrote it out with Rumble. I'm saying, my bad. He should have just wrote it out with Rumble because they stayed loyal to him. But, you know, Kick saw that as an opportunity, a money grab. They're like, okay, you know what? We got these other platforms now. X, they're letting them say whatever the hell they want. We can't enforce these policies like that anymore. You know, let's just, let's just, let's just try to recruit him. And we'll give him a million on top of whatever Rumble's giving him. Because they, you know, they're the ones with the money. So the Rumble's going through all types of lawsuits. And you got to... You can't advertise, you know, certain brands on there. You have to create your own brand and your own products. It's 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 wild. They're like, we could easily scoop up Sneeko and just have him, you know, just keep doing the Muslim content, you know, keep doing the IRL Muslim content, just stay out of the BS, and then we're we're cool, you know. So this cancel culture stuff is is complete BS, and I, you know, you can't cancel anyone anymore. It's not possible, you know. Um, all that you know, they tried to censor uh, the the Nick Fuentes guy, 
dude's all over X, man. He's like killing it on X. He's like, all right, cool. I could go on this platform. See, the thing is, people are going to watch who they like, regardless. If they have to find them on some vague you know website that they've created and the the streaming quality is terrible and they're you know they have to pay mon a monthly subscription to watch the dude they'll freaking do it right and that's what these companies don't understand is that these people have loyal followers they're not just you know they're not just something that you could i mean you could get rid of them that that might even make them even more famous now because he's he's a taboo subject type of person he stood on his ground so that's why I'm saying, like, all this crap is, it, all this is just complete BS, man. This cancel culture stuff is complete BS.